talk to you. Hi, what's your name? My name is Victoria. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Argentina. Okay, so you found you here. So what drives you? Why are you here? Like, what purpose is it serving? Okay, many purposes actually. I'm really interested in Bikuni, Sangha, uh, because I really look up to them. And uh, for me, it's like an ideal life, you know, like uh, to give your entire life to Dhamma and to people and to harmony and peace in the world, in the society. Uh, so I find this uh, conference about bikunis and Pasikas is really important because it's about about to strength, you know, uh, the, the entire Sangha, you know, like like the Biku, bikunis. So what is it about the Buddha's Dhamma and Buddha's Dhamma that drives you towards this? There have been a lot of other options. So why just the Buddha's Dhamma? Uh, well, actually, I, I've been an atheist most of my life. And then I really appreciate the thing that you should experience uh, things and not believing blindly in, in Buddhism, you know? You have to get to know Buddhism. They say like taste the fruit, taste the mango. I mean, everyone can tell you about how sweet or how juicy can a mango be, but you should taste it. And uh, that's why I'm here actually. I, I really like this, this mango and I really surprised about how deep in you can this sweetness grow, you know? So it's about the practicality and rationality about the Buddha's Dhamma. So but you could have pursued it as a lay disciple, as an upasika. Why do you want to be ordained as a bhikkhu? Um, okay, I just don't find any meaning in the lay life. I mean, no more. I just feel this is the fun for me. And um, I was lucky enough to to find these very inspiring people in, in, in my path, you know? Like I came to India some months ago and I met uh, two Bikunis and then I went to Thailand and I met some matches there. I mean, women who, who have had get ordained in, in different ways, but anyway, uh, they, they have uh, like give, given everything up just to walk this path and uh, and I think that's for me too. So what is your takeaway from this conclave? Uh, well many things actually. Um, today I have this feeling about maybe uh, it is enough about the problem and uh, it's time to to see what what's next. You know uh, I mean uh, male domination is everywhere, even in my country as well. I mean, I'm from Argentina and male ordination is there and uh, it's everywhere. So that's the problem. We as, as women and also I think many men, uh, we have identified this very huge problem and then we should go forward, you know, like what else now, okay, this is the problem. Um, which way are we, are we walking now? So my next question has two aspects to it. So since you've talked about the problem, so how do you think your contribution would be, like becoming a bhikkhuni? And then how, what is your individual view to take this thing forward? Like how will you contribute to it? Well, I think just... Trying not to make divisions, you know, between male and female, between Upasika and Bikuni, between even, you know, human beings and other living beings. Like, I mean, this is an idea, ideal, really, but it can be possible, you know, like, uh, to transcend all boundaries and to open my heart and my mind to, to the world, to harmony. I think that's awesome. So you've ended on a very 
prosperous note which promulgates promulgates equality. So thank you for talking with us. This is it from my अगर आपने अभी तक हमारा चैनल सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो सब्सक्राइब करें और घंटी का बटन बिल्कुल भी दबाना ना भूलें ताकि सभी लेटेस्ट खबरें पहुंच सकें आप पे सबसे पहले